What's up everybody, my name is Try, and welcome back to Free Game Friday. Uh, this week we are playing a game called The Supper, which released yesterday. A bite-sized game by TV Navarro. That was an uncomfortable sound. Appleton. Wake up! I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? There's no time to rest. Look at the time. Customers will be arriving any minute now. We don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Special sauce. Embers. Fire tongs. Bed wax. Um. Okay, that's just the menu. Recipe list. Pigeon a la sauce rosé. Spicy red swordfish. Hand and tongue stew. Alrighty then. Yeah, we have to light the candles. Can I do that with the- I know, it's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Can I do that with the fire tongs? Damn. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for certain starving souls to pass by. Water jug. Or bell. Now time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming. Why don't you go and make sure our special sauce is ready for them? Mmm, smells delicious. Can you hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. Here they come. You think it could be them? Customers. <laughs> Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit quickly. So what would the gentleman like to start with? Are you controlling fungus? Do you want spicy red swordfish? Lots of omega-3s. Old man. Pigeon a la sauce rosé. This dude's just a shark. Did you hear that, Miss Alpson? Hand and tongue stew. He thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. So that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind controlling beast on the left, a pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right, and a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. All, of course, of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton, go and fetch the ingredients. Don't forget to check out the recipe list on the ingredients wall if you have any problem with that. I remember. Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. Pigeon. The Joyous Lobster Inn. Best place in town for a snack. Hope you're not thinking of climbing up there. 
Uh, but I want to. Can I go up on the boat? Fisherman! Fisherman dead. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. It's a boot! Can I have his hands? No. Okay, so we can't get up there yet. He's so cute on our back legs. Lever. What does lever do? Gale door. Oh, it needs a key. Um. Oh, okay. I can take that now. Um. Oh, I took the boot at the pigeon. Main ingredient for a pigeon supreme a la sauce rosé. Pigeon? Hmm? Hmm. Who wanted the pigeon hmm? sauce? Uh, old man did. Bon appetit, monsieur. Hello. Oh. Is, is he dead? <laughs> I think he's dead. Don't worry, there I used to pass out in taverns. Don't notice he stopped breathing. I need his tongue. Oh. Can I not use the scissors on the tail? Are you kidding me? You'll not be credited with the use of scissors. Okay, I guess not. Maybe we can get the rope from the and climb up on the boat. There we go. Captain's cabin. I think I know this guy. Let me chase his book. Narrator. Oh yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. But you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Hey, chili peppers! He looks completely harsh. Yeah, so I need to... ...get water. Me the sword for jail. Oh, I put the wax in the pot? What do I do? Oh. Drug to the seedling. Tapper. Now it just needs the sauce. And we'll be good to go. Mm 
This Appleton's hands don't look like hands. They look like they got chopped off of the elbows. always looks so appetizing like it could be like eight pixels and I'm like I want to eat that bon appetit <gasps> there's the tongue ah yes satisfied stomach this delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for do you get it, Miss Alplin? It's funny. Come on. Ah. Got the tongue. Oh, jailer keys. Why did he have the jailer keys? That's odd. I don't know what the lever is for. Hello. That's, that's just a skeleton hand. We need, like, isn't this supposed to be, like, a meaty hand? And tongue stew. Kitchen. One plump human hand. Add it to the wax. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Covering it with sauce anyway. Bon appetit, my cartilag cartilaginous friend. Your yeah, sharks don't have bones. Well, they oh. have some bones. They're mostly <gasps> cartilage, though. <laughs> ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy you can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great. Now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. Can I open the chest. Ooh, is that what the lever's for? Is this like um? Queenie Todd, the lever drops the bodies down to the bait. No? Oh, the cart. Dum -de -dum. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho and a bottle of. Oh, here you are. Oops. Oh, they go into there. Never used the grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope they're bones. I was say, is that what makes the special sauce? Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. But I want to open the chest. Who is that? Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At least I'm- at last I'm allowed to rest, and so are you. I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You were my dearest friend. When those beasts dragged me out from my kitchen, I knew I was done for. Oh, the shark ate her legs. Where I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I want it fair and square. While I was anguishing and suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only thing, one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until me, you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. 
please find a quiet place to bury my bones near the old well where I like to spend time. Time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. Goodbye. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Oh, pigeon. If you enjoyed this little game, please consider supporting the developer. We can keep creating games. And you decide by doing buying the PDF art book DLC. Thank you for your generosity. Looks like that is the end of the supper. I was hoping it would take me back to the main menu, but no. Um, I really liked that game. It was fun. And as I said in the beginning, that was a free game and it just released. So I will link it and its paid DLC down below. Um, if you know of any free games coming out within the next week or two, let me know. And I will put them on the list to play. Um, I like to try to find the free games that are just coming out. So I can show you all them and hopefully help them get some traction when they first show up so we can support these small developers. That was, wow. So I was reading their like reviews and stuff before I played and they said it was going to be like a 45 minute to an hour game. I didn't realize how fast this went by, but I really liked it. I hope you all would consider playing it. So I will link it down below and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Um, don't forget, if you enjoy my content, to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And until next time, when in doubt, throw everything into the pot. <laughs> Bye.